It's like you have a very – It's very – yeah, like those swing, swing, bam. Like a lot of it just feels incredibly tight and precise. And that's a thing that gets lost in the mix sometimes because, you know, you can make a platformer that's like – fucking moving on a on an eight by eight grid you know when you jump and it's like boop 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 well i mean i want to pull out an example that matt and i have used for a couple of years now and it points me paints me as somewhat of a nitpicky crazy asshole sonic I, 4 i know right not even sonic 4 sonic generations yeah it is. the good yeah. sonic game right the one that everybody likes yeah is uh matt had it on the 360 at his house at one point yeah, I and so. i just loaded it up just to see and I think I had controls in my hands for four seconds, like on movement, and I hit down and jump at the same time, and Sonic slowly rolled forward. And I went, yeah, this game sucks. And that was that. Now, that's because back in the old games, if you did that, the, the spin dash had a really high velocity coming out of the very first, like, trigger yeah, pole. Yeah. And so you could use it to move around faster. And in this one, it's like, no, they really want you to sit there. And so... But it's like it's a character that is defined by really specific movement controls mm -hmm. that they then did in Sonic Mania. And it's a bunch of games that just fail that first test. Mm -hmm. That very first test of... I mean, how many games have we played on the, on the channel either in, in a LP or, st or stream or fucking uh, uh, one-shot format in which we jump and go, oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's oh, a yeah. bad jump. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, and, and quite frankly, like... To strip a game down to nothing but the jump and the run, <laughs> you get the difference between, like, N plus and Meat Boy mm. and the shit we don't talk about. Because <laughs> why would we talk about Because it? those games feel great, and that's all they are, is a good-feeling movement system. You know? Like, it's so, so, so important. And um, it gets overlooked when you throw in, you know, awesome visuals and, like... Um, Make, like tons of mechanics to, where that that can kind of mask that stuff a bit, but it's also why I like um, like I never I never like the dishwasher for example mm -hmm. has it's it's all right, it but there's good. some stilt to the jank. You know, there's a little bit of stilt there, and I think they made sequels to it that were better. I don't remember. Okay, they and did, I, the, the Vampire Smile I think is a sequel. Vampire, yeah. and that game Icy, you know, yeah, a well, little bit of stilt to the jank. Um. I would even go as far as to say that, like, um... It feels pretty good. I'm not sure if you ever played it, but it was uh, Way Forward's 2D Blood Rain. The animated Oh, I heard, a, I heard good things that, about that. That, that like, the, the old 3D Blood Rain, like, they're fine for, like, a PS2 Xbox game. Yeah. But they're still, like, floaty and weird or whatever. But that one was, like, when I played it because it was added to Xbox yeah. One backwards compatibility, I was like, whoa, yeah, this feels all right. It's um, repetitive, though, Vanillaware but... figured it out, too. Right, yeah. in a very they're very different, though. very different. It's a slower type of thing, but with Muramasa and like some of those fights in, and some of the the, the fights in like understanding the juggling and combo system in um, in um, Dragon's Crown, uh, not Dragon's Crown in um, Odin Sphere. Odin Sphere. Yeah, you kind of like you. They you played Life Soul, by the way. I have not, but it's I know very I know. different. I know we we've had this talk multiple yeah. times. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I'm all aware. Um, it's great. But yeah, that that that's they 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 kind of figured it out because Muramasa is one of those as well. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're playing it and like like absolutely your your two D like juggling like like nuts. Um, yeah, man. It, it, anyway, that, that's all it is to say is just that's a thing that like fucking Dead Cells understanding that and having it feel that way right off the bat means I'm absolutely gonna try again and come back and try to make it past that next boss. You know, that reminds me, Willie. Have you ever touched Lords of the Fallen? Yes. Okay. You feel that same thing happening there, where you walk one step and you swing one sword, and you're like, "Hmm, hmm. like it's 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 fine, but it's not good. Hmm. Not like the, the same experience that you would have with say Neo, which is good when you hit a button." And you know what the actual you like now that I'm going like this is one for just it's just for. My the stories for anyone who's who was around when I talked about it, mm -hmm. but it's the difference between the Force Unleashed we got and the Force Unleashed we didn't. Uh, what's the one we didn't? The, or the the early early builds of it that was that were that were in test that I talked about. And they're better. Do you not remember me talking about Maybe, how? Maybe I just don't remember. Yeah, the Force Unleashed early early builds, but like when we, when we were doing like we were testing on it, yeah. the combo system was a lot more open. It was a lot more okay, loose. That, that's fine, but then what? Why? 
Why was there a change? Bugs and crazy shit with oh, the combination okay. yeah, yeah, that was it. Yeah, of yeah, the yeah. Havoc. Right. And, uh, not the Havoc. It was the um, Euphoria. Euphoria and the other one it had to combine with. Rage? No. Rage. No. It, it was, was Euphoria Physics Engine, you, and there was something else. Yeah, it was Euphoria mixed. It was yeah, basically. So it was. It was it, I think it was, it was that, Hav- Might have been Havoc. I forgot. I forgot which. But I, it, I think it was like the early engine that the 360 and PS3 version of an Indiana Jones game that had crazy physics that they then canceled and then repurposed everything into Star Wars. So we had we had yeah the game had to basically play nice with like physics of like things dropping into proper ragdoll, but then also yeah, like now, now linking to each other and this. smashing into walls and doing all that as mm-hmm, you use the force. Mm-hmm, so yeah. and there'd be certain builds where they pulled that out to, to test and so on. So that amazing ver- the it the, the, the that tightness is the difference between what it was and what it got what it became. So I know you probably don't believe me, but the, the Wii versions of Force Unleashed it's are completely actually, different. Yeah, are, are, are like when I played them, I'm like, wow, these, these feel good to fight. Yeah, because there's not that much swinging, and it's a completely different game and engine too. Like- and it's a different developer, Redfly, mm-hmm. and Redfly were the ones that pitched that Darth Maul action game. Mm-hmm. To LucasArts and the video of it looks incredible, They're and fine. they just were like, "No, no thanks." Yeah, we um, we don't. Or rather, I didn't. That wasn't. That was. I remember seeing that in test, but I didn't actually touch it. Mm. But I remember looking at it, being like, "This looks like a completely different video game." Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Uh, DMM. That's what it was called. Yes. Uh, anyway, so uh, game feel is vital. The game feel is beyond vital. Sorry, it, can I jump in there just on Dead Cell stuff? Go ahead. I can get it out of yeah, the way. Yeah, yeah. Good fucking game. It's fucking um, great, man. That this is the farthest I've gone on on the Switch, or on, when it was in early access, I was like, mm. eh, "Did you get yeah. past the concierge, the first boss?" Yeah, no, not yet. Okay. But that's <laughs> as far as I've like. This is the farthest I've I've gotten, and where I'm like, this run is going so it's going well. good. It's going I good. I have so much health. Yeah, I, I'm so blessed. Yeah, like, yeah, oh yeah. thank God. And yeah, just this boss, just so much health, so much health, and I have. The, the turrets, yeah. and I'm throwing down fire on the ground, yeah, 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 yeah. and I have, God, what was the, I, have, I think I have the balanced sword. Okay. So, like, the, pretty much the third tier sword you get naturally or whatever, and yeah, I just couldn't beat him on my first try, and I'm like, Fuck. Okay, I have some good tips for you. Please. Um, so, there, well, there's two things you can try to do. I mean, there's a way you can try to... Eventually, you, those speedrun doors that are always locked forever, yeah, yeah. Just try. you can try to just gun for them and get some good stuff from them. Okay. Um, event, but this is after, depending on how what you've unlocked in your tries, right? Mm-hmm. But for the concierge in particular, uh, it, it's, it'd be, if you can get like the wolf trap. And, okay, I did and not even. If you could try to, to try to get a wolf trap and try to get a, the, the, the turret. Wolf trap one okay or should I get like two or three? Well, the wolf trap will throw out two. Right? I just mean Sometimes. The, the second no, tier is a No, it's, it's like this is the time that you want them locked down, I assume. It, yeah, it doesn't even matter. Like, the best version of it you can get. <laughs> okay, but okay. the point is, is Wolf Trap combined with the gun turret is he's not moving and he's getting shot from across the screen. Okay. Right? Him not moving would be good. And, and then you can just, like, pelt him with arrows or whatever the fuck you want from a distance. Mm. And then eventually he does the jump in the full screen stuff. Yeah. And just if you have something that can, like, freeze him and then just Wolf Trap again. And just yeah, wolf trap lame it. Yeah, you, I had fire and and the and fighting the him lame is way was way more like efficient than like getting in there. Still so much health though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, um, what do you guys feel about this? Because visually, gameplay wise, the game is fast, vicious, and it's gory. But do you ever feel weird about the game having such a sense of humor most of the time? Uh, I didn't. I, the, I, the main character is like a, a kind fucking of a asshole. He's a goofball. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and the game is kind of meant to be like that feeling. I I was weirded out at first, especially considering it's like, oh damn, like there's a body. Every single of character someone you I talk know. to is kind of making jokes. Yeah, well, except for one who can't make jokes anymore, yeah. <laughs> you know. But um, it's it's bizarre where you find like a, your old friend and they're fucking dead, and the guy goes, "Huh, dead." Shrug, big shrug, yeah. like emo, yeah. uh, emote, and then nothing. Because I never have a problem with it, but I'm always always like, the game is called Dead Cells. You have like this, like. You know, strider looking almost guy with no head and like a the flame. The game's like... tone is at odds with its tone. Yeah. Mm. But that also <laughs> that but that also makes it different from the others that it, are just true. doing it seriously, right? That's true. Like you already look like a badass. Yeah. You've got the fucking glowing head and the scarf. You're yeah. killing shit. Nobody's gonna look at you and go, oh, that's not a badass. Yeah. So the fact that he's like, brr, thumbs up, yeah, <laughs> is like, why not? Fuck Give it. Give me that turkey leg. Yeah. Uh, I don't I don't mind it at all because it's like, sure. 
care, man. We we know he's cool. Like it's it's okay, you know. I, I just I just find it like a weird choice, but yeah, I don't I don't mind it. I'm always like that. I'm like I wonder what the, like if they wrote this to be super like over the top edgy, like it you might get, have been get, just as hilarious. You get your death scam, you know your I mean? hyperlight drifter, your you know what I mean. Like we've we've done it. We've been there. We no, know. But like make a parody Drifter's of it. Like don't joke. actually make it serious. Serious. Make it over the top. Drifter's serious. Got such a weird tone. That would have been hilarious. I fucking love Drifter. Yeah. The the the. The silent badass is uh, is a thing we, we've we've quite seen. Um, it's also why people love Under- Enter the Gungeon too, right? Like it's also oh, yeah, funny in addition to being a great. Yeah, it game. just looks funny. Though, I'm so fucking are. frustrated with Gungeon. I keep getting to the end of the pilot story, but I can't beat the past on mm. it. And that's like one out of every ten runs, I'll get to unlock that, and then I fucking fail. I oh dead ugh. dead cells humor reminds me of Billy. So much. Billy, really? It's his type of humor. It's his type of like things he laugh. Like I could see Billy playing Dead Cells and just laughing his ass off every time the guy goes, oh, oh yeah, thumbs maybe, up, 